Beyonce Giselle Knowles Carter is an American singer, songwriter, and actress. Born and raised in Houston, Texas, she performed in various singing and dancing competitions as a child and rose to fame in the late 1990s as lead singer of Rand B girl group Destiny's Child. Managed by her father, Matthew Knowles, the group became one of the world's best-selling girl groups of all time. Their hiatus saw the release of Beyoncé's debut album, Dangerously in Love, 2003, which established her as a solo artist worldwide, earned five Grammy Awards and featured the Billboard Hot 100 No. 1 singles Crazy in Love and Baby Boy. Following the disbandment of Destiny's Child in 2006, she released her second solo album, B-Day, 2006, which contained the tracks Deja Vu, Irreplaceable, and Beautiful Liar. Beyoncé also ventured into acting, with starring roles in The Pink Panther, 2006, Dreamgirls, 2006, and Obsessed, 2009. Her marriage to rapper Jay-Z and portrayal of Etta James in Cadillac Records, 2008, influenced her third album, I.A.M. Sasha Fierce, 2008, which saw the birth of her alter ego Sasha Fierce and earned a record-setting six Grammy Awards in 2010, including Song of the Year for Single Ladies, put a ring on it. Beyoncé took a hiatus from music in 2010 and took over management of her career, her fourth album for 2011, was subsequently mellower in tone exploring 1970s funk, 1980s pop, and 1990s soul. Her critically acclaimed fifth album, Beyoncé, 2013, was distinguished from previous releases by its experimental production and exploration of darker themes. With the release of Lemonade, 2016, Beyoncé became the first artist to have their first six studio albums debut at number one on the Billboard 200 chart. Throughout her career, she has sold over 100 million records as a solo artist, and a further 60 million with Destiny's Child, making her one of the best-selling music artists of all time. She has won 22 Grammy Awards and is the most nominated woman in the awards history. She is the most awarded artist at the MTV Video Music Awards, with 24 wins. The Recording Industry Association of America recognized her as the top certified artist in America during the 2000s, Decade. In 2009, Billboard named her the top radio songs artist of the decade, the top female artist of the 2000s, decade, and handed their Millennium Award in 2011. Ref. In 2014, she became the highest paid black musician in history and was listed among Time's 100 most influential people in the world for a second year in a row. Forbes listed her as the most powerful female in entertainment of 2015 and in 2016 she occupied the sixth place for Person of the Year. Early Life Beyoncé Giselle Knowles was born in Houston, Texas, to Celestine Tina Knowles, née Bayance, a hairdresser and salon owner, and Matthew Knowles, a Xerox sales manager. Beyoncé's name is a tribute to her mother's maiden name. Beyoncé's younger sister Solange is also a singer and a former member of Destiny's Child. Solange and Beyoncé are the first sisters to have both had number one albums. Matthew is African American, while Tina is of Louisiana Creole descent, African, Native American, and French. Through her mother, Beyoncé is a descendant of Acadian leader Joseph Broussard. Beyoncé attended St. Mary's Montessori School in Houston, where she enrolled in dance classes. Her singing talent was discovered when dance instructor Darlette Johnson began humming a song and she finished it, able to hit the high-pitched notes. Beyoncé's interest in music and performing continued after winning a school talent show at age 7, singing John Lennon's Imagine to beat 15-16-year-olds. In fall of 1990, Beyoncé enrolled in Parker Elementary School, a music magnet school in Houston, where she would perform with the school's choir. She also attended the High School for the Performing and Visual Arts and later a Leaf Elsick High School. Beyoncé was also a member of the choir at St. John's United Methodist Church as a soloist for two years. When Beyoncé was eight, she and childhood friend Kelly Rowland met Latavia Roberson while in an audition for an all-girl entertainment group. They were placed into a group with three other girls as girls' time, 
and rapped and danced on the talent show circuit in Houston. After seeing the group, Rand B producer Arnie Frager brought them to his Northern California studio and placed them in Star Search, the largest talent show on national TV at the time. Girls' Time failed to win, and Beyoncé later said the song they performed was not good. In 1995 Beyoncé's father resigned from his job to manage the group. The move reduced Beyoncé's family's income by half, and her parents were forced to move into separated apartments. Matthew cut the original line up to four and the group continued performing as an opening act for other established Rand B girl groups. The girls auditioned before record labels and were finally signed to Elektra Records, moving to Atlanta Records briefly to work on their first recording, only to be cut by the company. This put further strain on the family, and Beyoncé's parents separated. On October 5, 1995, Dwayne Wiggins' Grassroots Entertainment signed the group. In 1996, the girls began recording their debut album under an agreement with Sony Music, the Knowles family reunited, and shortly after, the group got a contract with Columbia Records. Career 1997-2002, Destiny's Child The group changed their name to Destiny's Child in 1996, based upon a passage in the Book of Isaiah. In 1997, Destiny's Child released their major label debut song Killing Time on the soundtrack to the 1997 film, Men in Black. The following year, the group released their self titled debut album, scoring their first major hit No, No, No. The album established the group as a viable act in the music industry, with moderate sales and winning the group three Soul Train Lady of Soul Awards for Best Rand B Soul Album of the Year. Best Rand B Slash Soul or Rap New Artist, and Best Rand B Slash Soul Single for No, No, No. The group released their multi-platinum second album The Writings on the Wall in 1999. The record features some of the group's most widely known songs such as Bills, 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 the group's first number one single, Jumpin' Jumpin' and Say My Name, which became their most successful song at the time, and would remain one of their signature songs. Say My Name won the Best Rand B Performance by a Duo or Group with Vocals and the Best Rand B Song at the 43rd Annual Grammy Awards. The Writings on the Wall sold more than 8 million copies worldwide. During this time, Beyoncé recorded a duet with Mark Nelson, an original member of Boys Two Men, on the song After All Is Said and Done for the soundtrack to the 1999 film, The Best Man. Latoya Luckett and Roberson became unhappy with Matthews' managing of the band and eventually were replaced by Farrah Franklin and Michelle Williams. Beyoncé experienced depression following the split with Luckett and Roberson after being publicly blamed by the media, critics, and blogs for its cause. Her long standing boyfriend left her at this time. The depression was so severe it lasted for a couple of years, during which she occasionally kept herself in her bedroom for days and refused to eat anything. Beyoncé stated that she struggled to speak about her depression because Destiny's Child had just won their first Grammy Award and she feared no one would take her seriously. Beyoncé would later speak of her mother as the person who helped her fight it. Franklin was dismissed, leaving just Beyoncé, Roland, and Williams. The remaining band members recorded Independent Women Part 1, which appeared on the soundtrack to the 2000 film Charlie's Angels. It became their best charting single topping the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 chart for 11 consecutive weeks. In early 2001, while Destiny's Child was completing their third album, Beyoncé landed a major role in the MTV made-for-television film, Carmen, a hip opera, starring alongside American actor Mackay Pfeiffer. Set in Philadelphia, the film is a modern interpretation of the 19th-century opera Carmen by French composer Georges Bizet. When the third album Survivor was released in May 2001, Luckett and Roberson filed a lawsuit claiming that the songs were aimed at them. The album debuted at number one on the U.S. Billboard 200, with first week sales of 663,000 copies sold. The album spawned other number one hits, Bootylicious and the title track, Survivor, the latter of which earned the group a Grammy Award for Best Rand B Performance by a Duo or Group with Vocals. After releasing their holiday album Eight Days of Christmas in October 2001, the group announced a hiatus to further pursue solo careers. In July 2002, 
Beyonce continued her acting career playing Foxy Cleopatra alongside Mike Myers in the comedy film Austin Powers in Goldmember, which spent its first weekend atop the U.S. box office and grossed $73 and pspp, million. Beyonce released Work It Out as the lead single from its soundtrack album which entered the top 10 in the UK, Norway, and Belgium. In 2003, Beyonce starred opposite Cuba Gooding, Jr., in the musical comedy The Fighting Temptations as Lily, a single mother with whom Gooding's character falls in love. The film received mixed reviews from critics but grossed $30 and pspp, million in the US Beyonce released Fighting Temptation as the lead single from the film's soundtrack album, with Missy Elliott, MC Light and Free which was also used to promote the film. Another of Beyonce's contributions to the soundtrack, Summertime, fared better on the US charts. 2003-2007, Dangerously in Love and B-Day Beyoncé's first solo recording was a feature on Jay-Z's 03 Bonnie and Clyde that was released in October 2002, peaking at number 4 on the US Billboard Hot 100 chart. Her first solo album Dangerously in Love was released on June 24, 2003, after Michelle Williams and Kelly Rowland had released their solo efforts. The album sold 317,000 copies in its first week, debuted atop the Billboard 200, and has since sold 11 million copies worldwide. The album's lead single, Crazy in Love, featuring Jay-Z, became Beyoncé's first number one single as a solo artist in the U.S. The single Baby Boy also reached number one, and singles, Me, Myself and I and Naughty Girl, both reached the top five. The album earned Beyoncé a then record tying five awards at the 46th Annual Grammy Awards, Best Contemporary Rand B Album, Best Female Rand B Vocal Performance for Dangerously in Love 2, Best Rand B Song and Best Rap Slash Sung Collaboration for Crazy in Love, and Best Rand B Performance by a Duo or Group with Vocals for the Closer One. Get to You with Luther Vandross In November 2003, she embarked on the Dangerously in Love tour in Europe and later toured alongside Missy Elliott and Alicia Keys for the Verizon Ladies' first tour in North America. On February 1, 2004, Beyoncé performed the American National Anthem at Super Bowl 38 at the Reliant Stadium in Houston, Texas. After the release of Dangerously in Love, Beyoncé had planned to produce a follow-up album using several of the leftover tracks. However, this was put on hold so she could concentrate on recording Destiny Fulfilled, the final studio album by Destiny's Child. Released on November 15, 2004, in the US and peaking at number 2 on the Billboard 200, Destiny Fulfilled included the singles Lose My Breath and Soldier, which reached the top 5 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Destiny's Child embarked on a worldwide concert tour, Destiny Fulfilled, and Love in It and during the last stop of their European tour, in Barcelona on June 11, 2005, Roland announced that Destiny's Child would disband following the North American leg of the tour. The group released their first compilation album No. 1S on October 25, 2005, in the US and accepted a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in March 2006. Beyoncé's second solo album B-Day was released on September 4, 2006, in the U.S., to coincide with her 25th birthday. It sold 541,000 copies in its first week and debuted atop the Billboard 200, becoming Beyoncé's second consecutive number one album in the United States. The album's lead single Deja Vu, featuring Jay-Z reached the top five on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. The second international single Irreplaceable was a commercial success worldwide, reaching number one in Australia, Hungary, Ireland, New Zealand and the United States. B-Day also produced three other singles, Ring the Alarm, Get Me Bodied, and Green Light, released in the United Kingdom only. Her first acting role of 2006 was in the comedy film The Pink Panther starring opposite Steve Martin, grossing $158.8 and pspp, million at the box office worldwide. Her second film Dreamgirls, the film version of the 1981 Broadway musical loosely based on The Supremes, received acclaim from critics and grossed $154 and pspp, million internationally. 
In it, she starred opposite Jennifer Hudson, Jamie Foxx and Eddie Murphy playing a pop singer based on Diana Ross. To promote the film, Beyoncé released Listen as the lead single from the soundtrack album. In April 2007, Beyoncé embarked on the Beyoncé Experience, her first worldwide concert tour, visiting 97 venues and grossed over $24 and pspp, million. Beyoncé conducted pre-concert food donation drives during six major stops in conjunction with her pastor at St. John's and America's Second Harvest. At the same time, B-Day was re-released with five additional songs, including her duet with Shakira Beautiful Liar. 2008-2010, Marriage, IAM. Sasha Fierce, and Films. On April 4, 2008, Beyoncé married Jay-Z. She publicly revealed their marriage in a video montage at the listening party for her third studio album, IAM. Sasha Fierce, in Manhattan's Sony Club on October 22, 2008. IAM Sasha Fierce was released on November 18, 2008, in the United States. The album formally introduces Beyoncé's alter ego Sasha Fierce, conceived during the making of her 2003 single Crazy in Love. It was met with generally mediocre reviews from critics, but sold 482,000 copies in its first week debuting atop the Billboard 200, and giving Beyoncé her third consecutive number one album in the U.S. The album featured the number one song Single Ladies, Put a Ring on It, and the top five songs If I Were a Boy and Halo. Achieving the accomplishment of becoming her longest-running Hot 100 single in her career, Halo's success in the U.S. helped Beyoncé attain more top ten singles on the list than any other woman during the 2000s. It also included the successful Sweet Dreams, and singles Diva, Ego, Broken Hearted Girl and Video Phone. The music video for Single Ladies has been parroted and imitated around the world, spawning the first major dance craze of the internet age according to the Toronto Star. The video has won several awards, including Best Video at the 2009 MTV Europe Music Awards, the 2009 Scottish MOBO Awards, and the 2009 BET Awards. At the 2009 MTV Video Music Awards, the video was nominated for nine awards, ultimately winning three including Video of the Year. Its failure to win the Best Female Video category, which went to American country pop singer Taylor Swift's You Belong With Me, led to Kanye West interrupting the ceremony and Beyoncé improvising a representation of Swift's award during her own acceptance speech. In March 2009, Beyoncé embarked on the IAM World Tour, her second headlining worldwide concert tour, consisting of 108 shows, grossing $119.5 million. Beyoncé further expanded her acting career, starring as blues singer Etta James in the 2008 musical biopic Cadillac Records. Her performance in the film received praise from critics, and she garnered several nominations for her portrayal of James including a Satellite Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress, and a NAACP Image Award nomination for Outstanding Supporting Actress. Beyoncé donated her entire salary from the film to Phoenix House, an organization of rehabilitation centers for heroin addicts around the country. On January 20, 2009, Beyoncé performed James at last at the first couple's first inaugural ball. Beyoncé starred opposite Ali Larder and Idris Elba in the thriller, Obsessed. She played Sharon Charles, a mother and wife who learns of a woman's obsessive behavior over her husband. Although the film received negative reviews from critics, the movie did well at the U.S. box office, grossing $68 million $60 million more than Cadillac Records on a budget of $20 and pspp, million. The fight scene finale between Sharon and the character played by Ali Larder also won the 2010 MTV Movie Award for Best Fight. At the 52nd Annual Grammy Awards, Beyoncé received 10 nominations, including Album of the Year for IAM, Sasha Fierce, Record of the Year for Halo, and Song of the Year for Single Ladies, Put a Ring on It, among others. She tied with Lauren Hill for most Grammy nominations in a single year by a female artist. Knowles went on to win six of those nominations, 
breaking a record she previously tied in 2004 for the most Grammy Awards won in a single night by a female artist with six. In 2010, Beyoncé was featured on Lady Gaga's single Telephone and appeared in its music video. The song topped the U.S. pop songs chart, becoming the sixth number one for both Beyoncé and Gaga, tying them with Mariah Carey for most number ones since the Nielsen Top 40 Airplay chart launched in 1992. Telephone received a Grammy Award nomination for Best Pop Collaboration with Vocals. Beyoncé announced a hiatus from her music career in January 2010, heeding her mother's advice, to live life, to be inspired by things again. During the break she and her father parted ways as business partners. Beyoncé's musical break lasted nine months and saw her visit multiple European cities, the Great Wall of China, the Egyptian Pyramids, Australia, English music festivals and various museums and ballet performances. 2011-2015, 4 and Beyoncé On June 26, 2011, she became the first solo female artist to headline the main pyramid stage at the 2011 Glastonbury Festival in over 20 years. Her fourth studio album 4 was released two days later in the U.S. 4 sold 310,000 copies in its first week and debuted atop the Billboard 200 chart, giving Beyoncé her fourth consecutive number one album in the U.S. The album was preceded by two of its singles Run the World, Girls, and Best Thing I Never Had. He fourth single Love on Top spent seven consecutive weeks at number one on the Hot Rand B slash Hip Hop Songs chart, while peaking at number 20 on the Billboard Hot 100, the highest peak from the album. 4 also produced four other singles, Party, Countdown, I Care and End of Time. Eat, Play, Love, a cover story written by Beyoncé for Essence that detailed her 2010 career break, won her a writing award from the New York Association of Black Journalists. In late 2011, she took the stage at New York's Roseland Ballroom for four nights of special performances, the four intimate nights with Beyoncé concerts saw the performance of her four album to a standing room only. On August 1, 2011, the album was certified platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America (RIAA), having shipped one million copies to retail stores. By December 2015, it reached sales of 1.5 million copies in the U.S. On January 7, 2012. Beyoncé gave birth to her first child, a daughter, Blue Ivy Carter, at Lenox Hill Hospital in New York. Five months later, she performed for four nights at Revel Atlantic City's Ovation Hall to celebrate the resort's opening, her first performances since giving birth to Blue Ivy. In January 2013, Destiny's Child released Love Songs, a compilation album of the romance-themed songs from their previous albums and a newly recorded track. Nuclear. Beyoncé performed the American National Anthem singing along with a pre-recorded track at President Obama's second inauguration in Washington, D.C. The following month, Beyoncé performed at the Super Bowl 47. Halftime show, held at the Mercedes Superdome in New Orleans. The performance stands as the second most tweeted about moment in history at 268,000 tweets per minute. At the 55th Annual Grammy Awards, Beyoncé won for Best Traditional Rand B Performance for Love on Top. Her feature-length documentary film, Life is But a Dream, first aired on HBO on February 16, 2013. Beyoncé embarked on the Mrs. Carter Show World Tour on April 15 in Belgrade, Serbia. The tour included 132 dates that ran through to March 2014. It became the most successful tour of her career and one of the most successful tours of all time. In May, Beyoncé's cover of Amy Winehouse's Back to Black with Andre 3000 on The Great Gatsby soundtrack was released. Beyoncé voiced Queen Tara in the 3D CGI animated film, Epic, released by 20th Century Fox on May 24, and recorded an original song for the film, Rise Up, CO written with SIA. On December 13, 2013, Beyoncé unexpectedly released her eponymous fifth studio album on the iTunes Store without any prior announcement or promotion. The album debuted atop the Billboard 200 chart, 
giving Beyoncé her fifth consecutive number one album in the U.S. This made her the first woman in the chart's history to have her first five studio albums debut at number one. Beyoncé received critical acclaim and commercial success, selling one million digital copies worldwide in six days, musically an electro-round album, it concerns darker themes previously unexplored in her work, such as bulimia, postnatal depression, and the fears and insecurities of marriage and motherhood. The single Drunk in Love, featuring Jay-Z, peaked at number two on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. In April 2014, after much speculation, Beyoncé and Jay-Z officially announced their On the Run tour. It served as the couple's first CO headlining stadium tour together. On August 24, 2014, she received the Video Vanguard Award at the 2014 MTV Video Music Awards. Knowles also won home three competitive awards, Best Video with a Social Message and Best Cinematography for Pretty Hurts, as well as Best Collaboration for Drunk in Love. In November, Forbes reported that Beyoncé was the top-earning woman in music for the second year in a row earning $115 million in the year, more than double her earnings in 2013. Beyoncé was reissued with new material in three forms, as an extended play, a box set, as well as a full platinum edition. According to the International Federation of the Phonographic Industry, IFPI, in the last 19 days of 2013, the album sold 2.3 million units worldwide, becoming the 10th best-selling album of 2013. The album also went on to become the 20th best-selling album of 2014. As of November 2014, Beyoncé has sold over 5 million copies worldwide and has generated over 1 billion streams, as of March 2015. At the 57th Annual Grammy Awards in February 2015, Beyoncé was nominated for six awards, ultimately winning three, Best Rand B Performance and Best Rand B Song for Drunk in Love, and Best Surround Sound Album for Beyoncé. She was nominated for Album of the Year, but the award went to Beck for his album Morning Phase. 2016 Present, Lemonade On February 6, 2016, Beyoncé released Formation and its accompanying music video exclusively on the music streaming platform title, the song was made available to download for free. She performed Formation Live for the first time during the NFL Super Bowl 50 halftime show. The appearance was considered controversial as it appeared to reference the 50th anniversary of the Black Panther Party and the NFL forbids political statements in its performances. Immediately following the performance, Beyoncé announced the Formation World Tour, which highlighted stops in both North America, and Europe. It ended on October 7, with Beyoncé bringing out her husband Jay-Z, Kendrick Lamar, and Serena Williams for the last show. The tour went on to win Tour of the Year at the 44th American Music Awards. On April 16, 2016, Beyoncé released a teaser clip for a project called Lemonade. It turned out to be a one-hour film which aired on HBO exactly a week later, a corresponding album with the same title was released on the same day exclusively on title. Lemonade debuted at number one on the U.S. Billboard 200, making Beyoncé the first act in Billboard history to have their first six studio albums debut atop the chart, she broke a record previously tied with DMX in 2013. With all 12 tracks of Lemonade debuting on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, Beyoncé also became the first female act to chart 12 or more songs at the same time. Additionally, Lemonade was streamed 115 million times through Tidal, setting a record for the most streamed album in a single week by a female artist in history. As of November 2016, it has sold 1.5 million copies in the U.S. Lemonade became her most critically acclaimed work to date, receiving universal acclaim according to Metacritic, a website collecting reviews from professional music critics. Several music publications included the album among the best of 2016, including Rolling Stone, which listed Lemonade at number one. The album's visuals were nominated in 11 categories at the 2016 MTV Video Music Awards, the most ever received by Beyoncé in a single year, and went on to win eight awards, including Video of the Year for Formation.
The Eight Winds made Beyoncé the most awarded artist in the history of the VMAs, 24, surpassing Madonna, 20. At the 59th Grammy Awards, Lemonade led with nine nominations including Album of the Year, and Record of the Year and Song of the Year for Formation. During the ceremony she won two of her nominations, taking home Best Urban Contemporary Album and Best Music Video. Adele broke her Grammy for Album of the Year and gave the other half to Beyoncé, since she thought that Lemonade was more deserving. Beyoncé occupied the sixth place for Time Magazine's 2016 Person of the Year. In January 2017, it was announced that Beyoncé would headline the Coachella Music and Arts Festival. This would make Beyoncé only the second female headliner of the festival since it was founded in 1999. Artistry Voice and songwriter Jody Rosen highlights her tone and timbre as particularly distinctive, describing her voice as one of the most compelling instruments in popular music. Her vocal abilities mean she is identified as the centerpiece of Destiny's Child. John Perels of The New York Times commented that her voice is velvety yet tart, with an insistent flutter and reserves of soul belting. Rosen notes that the hip-hop era highly influenced Beyoncé's unique rhythmic vocal style, but also finds her quite traditionalist in her use of balladry, gospel and falsetto. Other critics praise her range and power, with Chris Richards of The Washington Post saying she was capable of punctuating any beat with goosebump-inducing whispers or full-bore diva roars. Beyoncé's music is generally rand b but she also incorporates pop, soul and funk into her songs. Four demonstrated Beyoncé's exploration of 1990s style Rand B, as well as further use of soul and hip-hop than compared to previous releases. While she almost exclusively releases English songs, Beyoncé recorded several Spanish songs for Irreimplazable, re-recordings of songs from B-Day for a Spanish-language audience, and the re-release of B-Day. To record these, Beyoncé was coached phonetically by American record producer Rudy Perez. She has received CO writing credits for most of the songs recorded with Destiny's Child and her solo efforts. Her early songs were personally driven and female empowerment themed compositions like Independent Women and Survivor, but after the start of her relationship with Jay Z, she transitioned to more man tending anthems such as Cater to You. Beyonce has also received CO producing credits for most of the records in which she has been involved, especially during her solo efforts. However, she does not formulate beats herself, but typically comes up with melodies and ideas during production, sharing them with producers. In 2001, she became the first black woman and second female lyricist to win the Pop Songwriter of the Year Award at the American Society of Composers, Authors and Publishers Pop Music Awards. Beyoncé was the third woman to have writing credits on three number one songs, Irreplaceable, Grills and Check On It, in the same year after Carole King in 1971 and Mariah Carey in 1991. She is tied with American lyricist Diane Warren at third with nine songwriting credits on number one singles. The latter wrote her 9-11 motivated song I Was Here For 4. In May 2011, Billboard magazine listed Beyoncé at number 17 on their list of the top 20 Hot 100 songwriters for having CO written eight singles that hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. She was one of only three women on that list, along with Alicia Keys and Taylor Swift. Influences Beyoncé names Michael Jackson as her major musical influence. Aged five, Beyoncé attended her first ever concert where Jackson performed and she claims to have realized her purpose. When she presented him with a tribute award at the World Music Awards in 2006, Beyoncé said, If it wasn't for Michael Jackson, I would never ever have performed. She admires Diana Ross as an all-around entertainer and Whitney Houston, who she said inspired me to get up there and do what she did. She credits Mariah Carey's singing and her song Vision of Love as influencing her to begin practicing vocal runs as a child. Her other musical influences include Aaliyah, Prince, Lauren Hill Sada Adu, Donna Summer, Mary J. Bleach, Janet Jackson, Anita Baker, and Rachel Farrell. The feminism and female empowerment themes on Beyoncé's second solo album B-Day were inspired by her role in Dreamgirls and by singer Josephine Baker. 
Beyoncé paid homage to Baker by performing Deja Vu at the 2006 Fashion Rocks concert wearing Baker's trademark mini hula skirt embellished with fake bananas. Beyoncé's third solo album I Am. Sasha Fierce was inspired by Jay-Z and especially by Etta James, whose boldness inspired Beyoncé to explore other musical genres and styles. Her fourth solo album, Four was inspired by Fela Kuti, 1990s Rand B, Earth, Wind and Fire, DeBarge, Lionel Richie, Tina Marie, The Jackson 5, New Edition, Adele, Florence and the Machine, and Prince. Beyoncé has stated that she is personally inspired by U.S. First Lady Michelle Obama, saying she proves you can do it all and she has described Oprah Winfrey as the definition of inspiration and a strong woman. She has also discussed how Jay-Z is a continuing inspiration to her, both with what she describes as his lyrical genius and in the obstacles he has overcome in his life. Beyoncé has expressed admiration for the artist Jean-Michel Basquiat. Posting in a letter what I find in the work of Jean-Michel Basquiat, I search for in every day in music, he is lyrical and raw. In February 2013, Beyoncé said that Madonna inspired her to take control of her own career. She commented, I think about Madonna and how she took all of the great things she achieved and started the label and developed other artists. But there are not enough of those women. Stage and Alter Ego in 2006, Beyoncé introduced her all-female tour band Sugar Mama, also the name of a song in B-Day, which includes bassists, drummers, guitarists, horn players, keyboardists, and percussionists. Her background singers, the Mamas, consist of Montina Cooper Donnell, Crystal Collins, and Tiffany Monique Riddick. They made their debut appearance at the 2006 BET Awards and reappeared in the music videos for Irreplaceable and Greenlight. The band have supported Beyoncé in most subsequent live performances, including her 2007 concert tour The Beyoncé Experience, 2009-2010 IAM. World Tour, 2013-2014 The Mrs. Carter Show World Tour and 2016 The Formation World Tour. Beyoncé has received praise for her stage presence and voice during live performances. Jared Wise Elman of the New York Post placed her at number one on her list of the five best singers-slash-dancers. According to Barbara Ellen of The Guardian Beyoncé is the most in-charge female artist she's seen on stage, while Alice Jones of The Independent wrote she takes her role as entertainer so seriously she's almost too good. The ex-president of Def Jam L.A. Reid has described Beyoncé as the greatest entertainer alive. Jim Farber of The Daily News and Stephanie Klassen of Star Phoenix both praised her strong voice and her stage presence. Described as being sexy, seductive, and provocative when performing on stage, Beyoncé has said that she originally created the alter ego Sasha Fierce to keep that stage persona separate from who she really is. She described Sasha as being too aggressive, too strong, too sassy, and too sexy, stating, I'm not like her in real life at all. Sasha was conceived during the making of Crazy in Love, and Beyoncé introduced her with the release of her 2008 album I Am. Sasha Fierce In February 2010, she announced in an interview with Allure magazine that she was comfortable enough with herself to no longer need Sasha Fierce. However, Beyoncé announced in May 2012 that she would bring her back for her Revel Presents, Beyoncé Live shows later that month. Public Image Beyoncé has been described as having a wide-ranging sex appeal, with music journalist Turi writing that since the release of Dangerously in Love, she has become a crossover sex symbol. Offstage Beyoncé says that while she likes to dress sexily, her onstage dress is absolutely for the stage. Due to her curves and the term's catchiness, in the 2000s, decade, the media often used the term bootylicious, a portmanteau of the words booty and delicious, to describe Beyoncé, the term popularized by Destiny's Child single of the same name. In 2006, it was added to the Oxford English Dictionary. In September 2010, Beyoncé made her runway modeling debut at Tom Ford's Spring-slash-Summer 2011 fashion show. She was named World's Most Beautiful Woman by People and the Hottest Female Singer of All Time by Complex in 2012. In January 2013, 
GQ placed her on its cover, featuring her atop its 100 Sexiest Women of the 21st Century list. VH1 listed her at number one on its 100 Sexiest Artists list. Several wax figures of Beyoncé are found at Madame Tussauds wax museums in major cities around the world, including New York, Washington, D.C., Amsterdam, Bangkok, Hollywood, and Sydney. According to Italian fashion designer Roberto Cavalli, Beyoncé uses different fashion styles to work with her music while performing. Her mother Sio wrote a book, published in 2002, titled Destiny's Style An Account of How Fashion Affected the Trio's Success. The Bidet Anthology video album showed many instances of fashion-oriented footage, depicting classic to contemporary wardrobe styles. In 2007, Beyoncé was featured on the cover of the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue, becoming the second African-American woman after Tyra Banks, and People magazine recognized Beyoncé as the best-dressed celebrity. The Bayhive is the name given to Beyoncé's fan base. Fans were previously titled the Beyontourage, a portmanteau of Beyoncé and Entourage. The name Bayhive derives from the word Beehive, purposely misspelled to resemble her first name, and was penned by fans after petitions on the online social networking service Twitter and online news reports during competitions. In 2006, the animal rights organization People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, PETA, criticized Beyoncé for wearing and using fur in her clothing line House of Duran. In 2011, she appeared on the cover of French fashion magazine Elle Officielle, in blackface and tribal makeup that drew criticism from the media. A statement released from a spokesperson for the magazine said that Beyoncé's look was far from the glamorous Sasha Fierce and that it was a return to her African roots. Beyoncé's lighter skin color and costuming has drawn criticism from some in the African-American community. Emmett Price, a professor of music at Northeastern University, wrote in 2007, that he thinks race plays a role in many of these criticisms, saying white celebrities who dress similarly do not attract as many comments. In 2008, El Oreal was accused of whitening her skin in their Feria hair color advertisements, responding that it is categorically untrue, and in 2013, Beyoncé herself criticized Hand M for their proposed retouching of promotional images of her, and according to Vogue requested that only natural pictures be used. Personal Life Marriage and Children Beyoncé started a relationship with Jay-Z after their collaboration on O3 Bonnie and Clyde, which appeared on his seventh album The Blueprint 2, The Gift and the Curse, 2002. Beyoncé appeared as Jay-Z's girlfriend in the music video for the song, fueling speculation about their relationship. On April 4, 2008, Beyoncé and Jay-Z married without publicity. As of April 2014, the couple had sold a combined 300 million records together. They are known for their private relationship, although they have appeared to become more relaxed in recent years. Beyoncé suffered a miscarriage in 2010 or 2011, describing it as the saddest thing she had ever endured. She returned to the studio and wrote music in order to cope with the loss. In April 2011, Beyoncé and Jay-Z traveled to Paris in order to shoot the album cover for four and unexpectedly became pregnant in Paris. In August, the couple attended the 2011 MTV Video Music Awards, at which Beyoncé performed Love on Top and ended the performance by revealing she was pregnant. Her appearance helped that year's MTV Video Music Awards become the most watched broadcast in MTV history, pulling in 12.4 and nbsp, million viewers, the announcement was listed in Guinness World Records for most tweets per second recorded for a single event on Twitter, receiving 8,868 tweets per second and Beyoncé pregnant was the most googled term the week of August 29, 2011. On January 7, 2012, Beyoncé gave birth to a daughter, Blue Ivy Carter, at Lenox Hill Hospital in New York City. On February 1, 2017, she revealed on her Instagram account that she is expecting twins. Her announcement gained 6,335,571 likes within eight hours, breaking the world record for the most liked image on the website. Activism
Beyonce performed America the Beautiful at the 2009 presidential inauguration, as well as at last during the first inaugural dance at the Neighborhood Ball two days later. They held a fundraiser at Jay-Z's 4040th's Club in Manhattan for Obama's 2012 presidential campaign which raised $4 and NBSP, million. In the 2012 presidential election, Beyoncé voted for Obama. She performed the American National Anthem at his second inauguration The Washington Post reported in May 2015, that Beyoncé attended a major celebrity fundraiser for 2016 presidential nominee Hillary Clinton. In 2013, Beyoncé stated in an interview with Vogue that she considered herself to be a modern-day feminist. She would later align herself more publicly with the movement, sampling We Should All Be Feminists, a speech delivered by Nigerian author Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie at a TEDx talk in April 2013, in her song Flawless, released later that year. She has also contributed to the Ban Bossi campaign, which uses television and social media to encourage leadership in girls. Following Beyoncé's public identification as a feminist, the sexualized nature of her performances and the fact that she championed her marriage was questioned. Beyoncé publicly endorsed same-sex marriage on March 26, 2013, after the Supreme Court debate on California's Proposition 8. The singer has also condemned police brutality against black Americans. Beyoncé and Jay-Z attended a rally in 2013 in response to the acquittal of George Zimmerman for the shooting of Trayvon Martin. The film for her sixth album Lemonade included the mothers of Trayvon Martin, Michael Brown, and Eric Garner, holding pictures of their murdered sons in the video for Freedom. In a 2016 interview with Elle, she responded to the controversy surrounding her song Formation which was perceived to be critical of the police. She clarified, I am against police brutality and injustice. Those are two separate things. If celebrating my roots and culture during Black History Month made anyone uncomfortable, those feelings were there long before a video and long before me. Wealth Forbes magazine began reporting on Beyoncé's earnings in 2008, calculating that the $80 and NBSP million earned between June 2007 to June 2008, for her music, tour, films, and clothing line made her the world's best-paid music personality at the time, above Madonna and Celine Dion. They placed her fourth on the Celebrity 100 list in 2009, and ninth on the Most Powerful Women in the World list in 2010. The following year, Forbes placed her eighth on the Best Paid Celebrities Under 30 list, having earned $35 and NBSP million in the past year for her clothing line and endorsement deals. In 2012, Forbes placed Beyoncé at number 16 on the Celebrity 100 list, 12 places lower than three years ago yet still having earned $40 and NBSP million in the past year for her album for clothing line and endorsement deals. In the same year, Beyoncé and Jay-Z placed at number one on the world's highest paid celebrity couples, for collectively earning $78 and NBSP million. The couple made it into the previous year's Guinness World Records as the highest earning power couple for collectively earning $122 million in 2009. For the years 2009 to 2011, Beyoncé earned an average of $70 and NBSP million per year, and earned $40 and NBSP million in 2012. In 2013, Beyoncé's endorsements of Pepsi and Hand M made her and Jay-Z the world's first billion-dollar couple in the music industry. That year, Beyoncé was published as the fourth most powerful celebrity in the Forbes rankings. MTV estimated that by the end of 2014, Beyoncé would become the highest-paid black musician in history, she proceeded to do so in April 2014. In June 2014, Beyoncé ranked at number one on the Forbes Celebrity 100 list, earning an estimated $115 and NBSP million throughout June 2013 June 2014. This in turn was the first time she had topped the Celebrity 100 list as well as being her highest yearly earnings to date. In 2016, Beyoncé ranked at number 34 on the Celebrity 100 list with earnings of $54 million. Herself and Jay-Z also topped the highest-paid celebrity couple list, 
with combined earnings of $107.5 million. As of June 2016, Forbes calculated her net worth to be $265 million. Legacy In The New Yorker, music critic Jody Rosen described Beyoncé as the most important and compelling popular musician of the 21st century. The result, the logical end point, of a century plus of pop. When The Guardian named her artist of the decade, Lewin Smith wrote, Why Beyoncé? Because she made not one but two of the decade's greatest singles, with Crazy in Love and Single Ladies, put a ring on it, not to mention her hits with Destiny's Child, and this was the decade when singles particularly Rand B singles regained their status as pop's favorite medium. She and not any superannuated rock star was arguably the greatest live performer of the past ten years. In 2013, Beyoncé made the Time 100 list, with Baz Luhrmann writing No one has that voice, no one moves the way she moves, no one can hold an audience the way she does. When Beyoncé does an album, when Beyoncé sings a song, when Beyoncé does anything, it's an event, and it's broadly influential. Right now, she is the heir apparent diva of the USA the reigning national voice. In 2014, Beyoncé was listed again on the Time 100 and also featured on the cover of the issue. Beyoncé's work has influenced numerous artists including Adele, Ariana Grande, Lady Gaga, Ellie Goulding, Rihanna, Kelly Rowland, Sam Smith, Nicole Scherzinger, Jessica Sanchez, Cheryl, Jojo, Megan Trainer, Grimes, Rita Ora, Zendaya, Alexis Jordan, Bridget Mendler, and Azealia Banks. American indie rock band White Rabbits also cited her an inspiration for their third album Milk Famous, 2012. Friend Gwyneth Paltrow studied Beyoncé at her live concerts while learning to become a musical performer for the 2010 film Country Strong. Her debut single, Crazy in Love was named VH1's Greatest Song of the 2000s, NMES Best Track of the 00s and Pop Song of the Century considered by Rolling Stone to be one of the 500 greatest songs of all time, earned two Grammy Awards and is one of the best-selling singles of all time at around 8 and psp, million copies. The music video for Single Ladies, put a ring on it, which achieved fame for its intricate choreography and its deployment of jazz hands, was credited by the Toronto Star as having started the first major dance craze of both the new millennium and the internet triggering a number of parodies of the dance choreography and a legion of amateur imitators on YouTube. In 2013, Drake released a single titled Girls Love Beyoncé, which featured an interpolation from Destiny Child's Say My Name and discussed his relationship with women. In January 2012, Research scientist Brian Lessard named Scaptia Beyoncea, a species of horse fly found in northern Queensland, Australia after Beyoncé due to the fly's unique golden hairs on its abdomen. In July 2014, a Beyoncé exhibit was introduced into the Legends of Rock section of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The black leotard from the Single Ladies video and her outfit from the Super Bowl halftime performance are among several pieces housed at the museum. Architects credit Beyoncé's look in her ghost music video as the inspiration of the design of the Premier Tower under construction in Australia. Honours and Awards Beyoncé has received numerous awards. As a solo artist she has sold over 17 and psp, million albums in the US, and over 100 and psp, million records worldwide, a further 60 and psp, million additionally with Destiny's Child making her one of the best-selling music artists of all time. The Recording Industry Association of America, RIAA, listed Beyoncé as the top certified artist of the 2000s, decade, with a total of 64 certifications. Her songs Crazy in Love, Single Ladies, Put a Ring on It, Halo, and Irreplaceable are some of the best-selling singles of all time worldwide. In 2009, the Observer named her the Artist of the Decade and Billboard named her the Top Female Artist and Top Radio Songs Artist of the Decade. In 2010, Billboard named her in their Top 50 Rand B Slash Hip Hop Artists of the Past 25 Years list at number 15. In 2012 VH1 ranked her third on their list of the 100 Greatest Women in Music.
Beyoncé was honored with the International Artist Award at the American Music Awards. She has also received the Legend Award at the 2008 World Music Awards, the Billboard Millennium Award at the 2011 Billboard Music Awards, the Michael Jackson Video Vanguard Award at the MTV Video Music Awards in 2014, and the Fashion Icon Award at the CFDA Awards in 2016. Beyoncé has won 22 Grammy Awards, both as a solo artist and member of Destiny's Child, making her the second most honored female artist by the Grammys, behind Alison Krauss and the most nominated woman in Grammy Award history with a total of 62 nominations. Single Ladies, Put a Ring on It, won Song of the Year in 2010 while Say My Name and Crazy in Love had previously won Best Rand B Song. Dangerously in Love, B Day and I A M. Sasha Fierce have all won Best Contemporary Rand B Album. Beyoncé set the record for the most Grammy Awards won by a female artist in one night in 2010 when she won six awards, breaking the tie she previously held with Alicia Keys, Nora Jones, Alison Krauss and Amy Winehouse, with Adele equaling this in 2012. Beyoncé has also won 24 MTV Video Music Awards, making her the most awarded artist in Video Music Award history. Single Ladies, Put a Ring on It and Formation won Video of the Year in 2009 and 2016 respectively. Beyoncé tied the record set by Lady Gaga in 2010 for the most VMAs won in one night for a female artist with eight in 2016. She is also the most awarded and nominated artist in BET Award history, winning 24 awards from a total of 54 nominations. Following her role in Dreamgirls Beyoncé was nominated for Best Original Song for Listen and Best Actress at the Golden Globe Awards, and Outstanding Actress in a Motion Picture at the NAACP Image Awards. Beyoncé won two awards at the Broadcast Film Critics Association Awards 2006, Best Song for Listen and Best Original Soundtrack for Dreamgirls, Music from the Motion Picture. According to Fuse in 2014, Beyoncé is the second most award-winning artists of all time, after Michael Jackson. She was named on the 2016 BBC Radio 4 Women's Hour Power list as one of seven women judged to have had the biggest impact on women's lives over the past 70 years, alongside Margaret Thatcher, Barbara Castle, Helen Brooke, Germaine Greer, Jaya Bendesai, and Bridget Jones. In 2016, she was announced by WhatsApp TV as the first winner of the Best International Video category with her formation video at the maiden edition of the WhatsApp TV Africa Music Video Awards held in Accra, Ghana. Other Ventures Endorsements Beyoncé has worked with Pepsi since 2002, and in 2004 appeared in a Gladiator-themed commercial with Britney Spears, Pink, and Enrique Iglesias. In 2012, Beyoncé signed a $1.50 and pspp, million deal to endorse Pepsi. The Center for Science in the Public Interest, Xpinit, wrote Beyoncé an open letter asking her to reconsider the deal because of the unhealthiness of the product and to donate the proceeds to a medical organization. Nevertheless, NetBase found that Beyoncé's campaign was the most talked about endorsement in April 2013 with a 70 percent positive audience response to the commercial and print ads. Beyoncé has worked with Tommy Hilfiger for the fragrance's True Star, singing a cover version of Wishing on a Star, and True Star Gold, she also promoted Emporio Armani's Diamonds fragrance in 2007. Beyoncé launched her first official fragrance, Heat in 2010. The commercial, which featured the 1956 song Fever, was shown after the watershed in the United Kingdom as it begins with an image of Beyoncé appearing to lie naked in a room. In February 2011, Beyoncé launched her second fragrance, Heat Rush. Beyoncé's third fragrance, Pulse, was launched in September 2011. In 2013, the Mrs. Carter Show limited edition version of Heat was released. The six editions of Heat are the world's best-selling celebrity fragrance line with sales of over $400 and pspp, million. The release of a video game star power, Beyoncé was cancelled after Beyoncé pulled out of a $100 and pspp, million with Gate 5 who alleged the cancellation meant the sacking of 70 staff and millions of pounds lost in development.
It was settled out of court by her lawyers in June 2013 who said that they had cancelled because Gate 5 had lost its financial backers. Beyoncé also has had deals with American Express Nintendo DS and L'Oreal since the age of 18. In October 2014, Beyoncé partnered with British fashion retailer Topshop in a 50-50th split subsidiary business named Parkwood Topshop Athletic Ltd. The new division was created for Topshop to break into the active wear market. The company and collection is set to launch and hit stores in the fall of 2015. In March 2015, Beyoncé became a CEO owner, with other artists, of the music streaming service title. The service specializes in lossless audio and high-definition music videos. Beyoncé's husband Jay-Z acquired the parent company of Tidal, Aspero, in the first quarter of 2015. Including Beyoncé and Jay-Z, 16 artist stakeholders, such as Kanye West, Rihanna, Madonna, Chris Martin, Nicki Minaj, and more, CEO own Tidal, with the majority owning a 3% equity stake. The idea of having an all-artist-owned streaming service was created by those involved to adapt to the increased demand for streaming within the current music industry. Fashion Lines Beyoncé and her mother introduced House of Duran, a contemporary women's fashion line, in 2005. The concept is inspired by three generations of women in their family, the name paying tribute to Beyoncé's grandmother, Agne Duran, a respected seamstress. According to Tina, the overall style of the line best reflects her and Beyoncé's taste and style. Beyoncé and her mother founded their family's company Beyond Productions, which provides the licensing and brand management for House of Duran, and its junior collection, Duran. House of Duran pieces were exhibited in Destiny's Child's shows and tours, during their Destiny Fulfilled era. The collection features sportswear denim offerings with fur, outerwear, and accessories that include handbags and footwear, and are available at department and specialty stores across the U.S. and Canada. In 2005, Beyoncé teamed up with House of Brands, a shoe company, to produce a range of footwear for House of Duran. In January 2008, Starwave Mobile launched Beyoncé Fashion Diva, a high-style mobile game with a social networking component, Featuring the House of Duran collection. In July 2009, Beyoncé and her mother launched a new junior apparel label, Sasha Fierce for Duran, for back to school selling. The collection included sportswear, outerwear, handbags, footwear, eyewear, lingerie, and jewelry. It was available at department stores including Macy's and Dillard's, and specialty stores Jimmy Jazz and Against All Odds. On May 27, 2010, Beyoncé teamed up with clothing store Canda to launch Duran by Beyoncé at their stores in Brazil. The collection included tailored blazers with padded shoulders, little black dresses, embroidered tops, and shirts and bandage dresses. In October 2014, Beyoncé signed a deal to launch an active wear line of clothing with British fashion retailer Topshop. The 50-50 venture is called Parkwood Topshop Athletic Ltd and is scheduled to launch its first dance, fitness and sports ranges in autumn 2015. The line was launched in April 2016. Philanthropy After Hurricane Katrina in 2005, Beyoncé and Roland founded the Survivor Foundation to provide transitional housing for victims in the Houston area to which Beyoncé contributed an initial $250,000. The foundation has since expanded to work with other charities in the city, and also provided relief following Hurricane Ike three years later. Beyoncé participated in George Clooney and Wyclef Jean's Hope for Haiti Now, a global benefit for earthquake relief telethon and was named the official face of the limited edition CFDA Fashion for Haiti t-shirt, made by Theory which raised a total of $1 and pspp, million. On March 5, 2010, Beyoncé and her mother Tina opened the Beyoncé Cosmetology Center at the Brooklyn Phoenix House, offering a seven-month cosmetology training course for men and women. In April 2011, Beyoncé joined forces with U.S. First Lady Michelle Obama and the National Association of Broadcasters Education Foundation, to help boost the latter's campaign against child obesity by reworking her single Get Me Bodied. Following the death of Osama bin Laden, 
Beyoncé released her cover of the Lee Greenwood song God Bless the USA, as a charity single to help raise funds for the New York Police and Fire Widows and Children's Benefit Fund. In December, Beyoncé along with a variety of other celebrities teamed up and produced a video campaign for Demand a Plan, a bipartisan effort by a group of 950 U.S. mayors and others designed to influence the federal government into rethinking its gun control laws, following the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting. Beyoncé became an ambassador for the 2012 World Humanitarian Day campaign donating her song I Was Here and its music video, shot in the UN, to the campaign. In 2013, it was announced that Beyoncé would work with Salma Hayek and Frida Janini on a Gucci Chime for Change campaign that aims to spread female empowerment. The campaign, which aired on February 28, was set to her new music. A concert for the cause took place on June 1, 2013 in London and included other acts like Ellie Goulding, Florence and The Machine, and Rita Ora. In advance of the concert, she appeared in a campaign video released on May 15, 2013, where she, along with Cameron Diaz, John Legend and Kylie Minogue, described inspiration from their mothers, while a number of other artists celebrated personal inspiration from other women leading to a call for submission of photos of women of viewers' inspiration from which a selection was shown at the concert. Beyoncé said about her mother Tina Knowles that her gift was finding the best qualities in every human being. With help of the crowdfunding platform Catapult, visitors of the concert could choose between several projects promoting education of women and girls. Beyoncé is also taking part in Miss a Meal, a food donation campaign, and supporting Goodwill Charity through online charity auctions at Charity Buzz that support job creation throughout Europe and the U.S. In December 2016, Beyoncé was named the most charitable celebrity of the year.